the Galaxy Z Flip 6 and Galaxy Z Fold 6 will be officially announced next month, on July 10, at the Galaxy Unpacked event. However, before the presentation, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 details were leaked in full, and things didn't look good for potential purchasers. There are no significant advancements in the Galaxy Z Fold 6 over its predecessor. Smartprix provided the details for the Galaxy Z Fold 6. According to their claim, the forthcoming smartphone would feature a 6.2-inch dynamic AMOLED 2X screen with HD Plus quality, 2,376 by 968 pixels, a 22 to 9 aspect ratio, and a 120Hz refresh rate. The internal display is a 7.6-inch dynamic AMOLED 2X panel with QX Edge GA Plus resolution, 2160 by 1856 pixels, a 4 to 3.4 aspect ratio, and a refresh rate of 120 Hz. The phone features a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, 12 gigs of RAM, and 512 gigs of storage. It appears to have 484 gigs of free storage space, which is 31 gigs more than before. The device will also be offered with 256 gigs and 1 terabyte storage capacities. When folded, it measures 153.5 by 68.1 by 12.1 mm and unfolds to 153.5 by 132.6 by 5.6 mm. It weighs 239 grams, making it 13 grams less than the Z Fold 5. The Galaxy Z Fold 6's camera configuration is the same as the Z Fold 5. It features a 50 megapixels primary back camera with OAS, a 12 megapixels ultra wide camera, and a 10 megapixels telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom with OAS. The primary rear camera can record 8K at 30 FPS videos and 4K at 120 FPS slow motion videos. It also includes a 10 megapixels front facing camera on the cover screen and a 4 megapixels. 4-in-1 pixel binning using a 16 megapixel sensor front-facing camera on the internal screen. The Z Fold 6's connectivity features include GPS with 5G, dual nano SIM card slot plus eSIM, 4G, Wi-Fi 6E, Wi-Fi Direct, Bluetooth 5.3, UWB and SC, and a USB 3.2 Gen 1 and a Type-C connection. It will be available in three colors, navy, pink, and silver shadow. Unfortunately, the phone is still powered by a 4,400 mAh battery, which is similar to its predecessor. As a result, the battery life will most likely not improve significantly. While the story does not specify the IP rating, speakers, fingerprint reader, or charging speeds, they are expected to be the same as on the Galaxy Z Fold 5. There were suspicions that the Galaxy Z Fold 6 would have a little larger battery capacity, but this appears to be false, at least according to this current report. However, Samsung appears to be getting somewhat more battery life out of the same battery capacity. According to the research, the Z Fold 6 can last up to 18 hours on cellular, one hour longer, and Wi-Fi networks, 23 hours on video, two hours longer, and 77 hours on audio, four hours longer. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 is slimmer and lighter, with shorter and broader displays than its predecessor. It also appears to support 4K at 120fps video recording for slow motion content. It also apparently has a titanium frame, like the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Let us now discuss the specifications of the Z Flip 6. A new leak has revealed the official specification sheet for the Galaxy Z Flip 6, confirming all of the previously released information about it. Smart pricks. It exposes an official looking specification sheet for the Galaxy Z Flip 6. It seems similar to the specification sheet found on Samsung's official website. Although it doesn't reveal anything new, let's go over it to refresh your memory on what Samsung's future clamshell foldable phone will include. According to the leaked official specification sheet, the Z Flip 6's main display will be a dynamic AMOLED 2X unit with full HD plus resolution of 2640 by 1080 pixels and a 120 Hz refresh rate, while the cover display will be a Super AMOLED device with 720 by 748 pixels resolution. Although it does not specify the screen sizes, we know that the primary display will be 6.7 inches and the cover display will be 3.4 inches. In terms of processing power, 
the Galaxy Z Flip 6's official specification sheet says that it will be powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 CPU. While it doesn't specify RAM or storage, a recent leak indicated that it will be available in two memory configurations. 8 gigs RAM plus 256 gig storage and 8 gigs RAM plus 256 gig storage. The phone will come preloaded with One UI 6.11, which is based on Android 14. In terms of imaging, the official spec sheet indicates that the phone would include two rear cameras, a 50 megapixels wide or primary camera with OES and a 12 megapixels ultra wide camera. There will be one front facing camera with a resolution of 10 megapixels. The primary back camera will be capable of recording videos at up to 4K resolution at 60 frames per second frame rate. The last screenshot shows the Z Flip 6 S connectivity options. According to the specifications, the phone has a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C port, tri-band Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, GPS, Plumus, Bidu, Galileo, and NSC. Now that the design, characteristics, and pricing of the Z Flip 6 are known, all we have to do is wait patiently for its release. Finally, Samsung added the Ultra moniker to its smartphones with the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Later, it used the same branding for its tablets, including the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. It has already been confirmed that the Galaxy Watch Ultra will include Ultra branding. The Galaxy Watch Ultra will be Samsung's first Ultra-branded smartwatch, according to the National Broadcasting and Telecommunications Commission. This Thai regulatory agency has approved the introduction of Samsung's next wearable device. According to its database, Samsung's next smartwatch with model number SML705F will be dubbed the Galaxy Watch Ultra. The Galaxy Watch Ultra, as shown in the image, was built in Samsung Electronics South Korean factory and imported for testing by Thai Samsung Electronics Cold. The NBTC tested the smartwatch's LTE variant, marked by the number 5 at the end of its model number. It will most likely be available in a Bluetooth-only configuration as well. The Galaxy Watch Ultra will have an unusual design, with a rounded square titanium frame and a circular screen on top. According to leaked renders, the next smartwatch would feature three buttons on the right side. Its look is reminiscent of Samsung's Gear Sport from 2016. According to previous reports, the Galaxy Watch Ultra is powered by the Exynos W1000 chipset, which has a pentacore CPU and is fabricated in 3NIM. It will offer 32 gigabytes of storage space, a maximum screen brightness of 3000 nits, and sapphire crystal screen protection. It is stated to be 10 ATM water resistant, IP68 rated, and designed to meet the MILSSD 810HUS military standard for durability. It features a 590 mAh battery, L1 Plus L5 dual frequency GPS, and Bluetooth connectivity. It is anticipated to run Wear OS 5 based One UI 6.0 watch software. It could also have Galaxy AI for personalized health advice and fitness guidance. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tech news and updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.